Welcome to Growing Microgreens at Home. What are microgreens? Microgreens are small, leafy vegetables that are harvested during the early stages of a plant's growing cycle. These vegetable greens are harvested before the one set of true leaves emerge from the plant. What you do is you eat both the leaves and the stems that can be eaten. Why do you do microgreens? because they are very nutritious, they are a great source of antioxidants, their concentrated nutrients are in those little stems and leaves before the full plant emerges into maturity. The other benefits of microgreens, not only are they nutritious, but they are so easy to grow, they grow quickly, within seven to 14 days for most seed types. You do not need a lot of space, you can also do this right in your own home and need limited sunlight in most cases. Let's get started. The equipment you need is a suitable container. You need growing medium. You need seeds. And you need water. Get out your containers. Um, and you want to make sure that you have adequate water in the containers to keep the original medium or soil moist. One of the most popular growing mediums is potting soil. It's economical, it maintains moisture, and I've had the most success with it. Later we'll see some other options that are available. Today I also added a tray of vermiculite to see how that goes. Okay, we've got the soil in the containers. Now let's talk about seed selection. We're gonna plant the seeds today. Um, I use a variety of different seeds. My favorite and easiest seeds to grow are radish, sunflower, and pea shoots. I go for what is called the salt and pepper. Always make, look at in here, down here. Make sure you get your corners or you're just wasting your materials. Now, some people say cover it up with a little bit of soil. Others say you don't need to. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pat it down. We're gonna add a little more. We've tapped the seeds down, both in the vermiculite and the soil, so now we cover the seeds in darkness. Day one day two, day three. During our three days of darkness, we've made sure that the soil has maintained moisture. Now we uncover it after three days, and we see a lot of white fuzzy stuff in the growing tray. Don't panic. It's root hairs. It is not mold. After three days of darkness, Put the containers out in the sunlight, indoors. Keep the soil moist. And look what we have with radish greens at day seven. So, I planted these on the same day as this. But these are different. This is cilantro. This is beets. And this is mustard greens. And this took 16 days to sprout this well. Oh. This took 16 days to sprout this well. This was 10. And I don't really think right now that we're gonna harvest them. In review, we've grown different types of seeds in different medium, and now it's time to harvest. I have already harvested these radishes that were grown in soil, but to harvest them, you grab them at the top, you cut them, and you put them in a bowl. Jeez, would you like to taste this? Yeah. Taste that, that's mustard. Okay. 